Uh, today we're going to go through uh, how to uh, set up a basic sound uh, setup uh, in uh, TinyCore uh, with a persistence uh, after a boot. Um, we will go to apps and then uh, what I uh, what I end up doing is just uh, basically installing uh, about uh, six uh, uh, packages. Uh, I just installed everything uh, that does not have a slash dev in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I installed those uh, seven uh, packages and they're very small so it goes very quickly. After that what you want to do is uh, fire up the uh, uh, terminal and uh, type in ELSA mixer. Then what you're going to get is this uh, uh, screen and uh, screen should have a default a uh, card but if you have more than one card for example I have uh, two sound card right now. One is uh, running the uh, headphone with a, uh, a microphone. So we'll go ahead and if you just look at F6, it gives you a choice of selecting a card. Default is the uh, uh, basic uh, built-in sound card on, uh, on this laptop, 32-bit uh, Dell laptop here. And the one I'm using, uh, that's the uh, same as uh, a zero, card zero. One I'm using is card number one, is C Media USB uh, uh, headphone and microphone jack uh, that's being used to record this uh, uh, desktop. But basically, what we want to set up is default. So, um, main thing that you're interested in is playback volume of master. This is analog master and you can uh, just go up and down with the arrow and then side to side arrow will pick up the ones that down here. The PCM you want to just leave it at maximum and line out I would just leave at maximum. Those three uh, uh, basic settings what you need to play be able to play sound. So after that, what you want to do is uh, we, we just ran a ELSA mixer. So we want to sa uh, save, we want to initiate the ELSA, uh, A-L-S-A-C-T-L, and I-N-I-T. You may have a small click. Uh, you may not hear it, but you may, but uh, that it just uh, says that uh, it signifies the card information, default card. This built-in is speaker dash test space and uh, bracket. Uh, uh, please note that there's two Ds, capital D and small d, default, uh, colon, one, and then rest of it. After you type it all correctly, make sure that this is a dash L and one. And then if you enter, you should hear, you should hear a lady saying front left and front right. Uh, so that means the speaker on the left and speaker on the right is uh, being tested and it's working. So next thing what you want to do is you want to store that setting. So sudo elsa ctl store. That stores the setting. And then next is that uh, sudo editor. So let me just, so, so this is the command. sudo editor uh, uh, slash opt slash boot local uh, dot sh. What this does is it puts it into a uh, startup a screen, a startup application. So next time when you start up, the, the setting uh, gets started. So when you enter this command and then you, what you're going to get is this uh, editor, which is boot local dot sh. What you want to do is add this line, ELSA CTL space restore. 
so it, so it, ma it makes sure that uh, the stored else configuration gets activated when it boots okay so you want to say that after that there's one more command that we want to make sure that uh, we want to echo okay so here's the command echo slash usr uh, local ect alsa a sound dot state uh, chevron uh, chevron sign opt dot file tool first so this uh, line of the code make sure that when you shut down and reboot this uh, computer the sound is saving uh, sound configuration gets saved in the my data dot t z, uh, z, z file. So you need to go through all those steps, and then when you reboot with a backup backup activated and okay, you should you should be able to uh, have a working sound card without further uh, delving into uh, sound configuration. I hope this is